Hi, you all. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. Today is five under five, which is farmhouse Christmas is the theme. This is my first um, Christmas video for the season, so I'm super excited. A big thanks to Missy from Crafty Cove DIY, Emily from Farm Charm Chic, and we have um, the co-host is Krista from Krista's Crafty Life. Okay, so you all know how much I absolutely love this collaboration. So, and here we are, we're already getting right into it. I didn't have very much, I really don't have very much Christmas stuff out yet. <laughs> I'm not prepared to craft for Christmas yet. So I pulled together some cute, really what I think is super cute farmhouse Christmas, and I hope that you guys agree. Here is, um, I've got those round circles from Target two years ago. It was a string of like 20 of them. So I just cut off three or four of them and I wanted to make um, ornaments out of them. I wanted to make gingerbread ornaments. I thought, how cute would that be, right? So I cut the circles out and then I take them and I'm going to, I'd use brown cardstock, okay? I could have painted them and all that, but I knew I wanted to lift them up and get them, you know, give them um, just some, you know, some little something extra. I didn't want them to be flat to the, you know, to my, um, my circle there. Now, these are just some stamps with gingerbread faces. So, I'm just going to stamp all of them up. So these stamps were really not as big as I would have liked them to have been for as large as these um, circles are, but it really worked out well, you know, because I practiced some mouse on them. Um, I get out some puffy paint and I make their little, you know, frosting on it. So actually, I am in love with them. I love gingerbread. So I'm super excited the way these turned out. I hope you guys like them. This probably costs me, oh my goodness, like next to nothing, literally way under $5 because I still have, um, I paid $3 for those circles and I think there's 20 of them on there and I used three of them. Um, and then, you know, basically the stamps you use again and again, again, piece of cardstock, a little bit of puffy paint. Yeah. So I don't know. At, at best, maybe $2, and I wouldn't even guess it cost me $2. So I'm so excited for how cute they turned out and for such an inexpensive DIY. And again, this is just stuff that I just pulled together really quickly because I'm not prepared to craft for Christmas yet. I know, you guys, I know. I'm so, I'm so far behind. Like, I have only made, I think, one or two fall DIY. I'm, not, I'm just not ready for Christmas yet, and I know it's here. I think uh, this Friday on my day off, I'm going to go through, pull out all of my Christmas tubs, put away all my Halloween and my fall tubs, and that way I can be ready to just craft for, for Christmas because it's here whether I like it or not. Here's where I'm putting those pop dots on there, you know, to lift it up off of the board. Now, I was kind of worried that if I didn't paint those white, I was concerned that you'd be able to see them, but you really can't. They look super cute. I'm really happy with them, and, you know, it was one step I just didn't need to take. I want you guys to know today is October 5th. I did every single one of these last night from 9 p.m. till 1 a.m., and now I'm an hour before work finishing one up and doing the voiceover, <laughs> you know, editing the video, doing the voiceover. <laughs> so yeah, I, I have a, I just didn't want to miss this collaboration because I love it so much. I really did not realize that I had like left all of this in this. See, this is what happens when you do it like, you know, so fast. Okay. I'm going to show the final reveal, like at the very end. 
So you'll see all of them together because you'll see they all kind of come together. Okay, so here's my second DIY. Now, I, I went on Pinterest because I was really looking for farmhouse Christmas. Like, what did that mean exactly? What does it look like? And so I got a lot of my inspiration from there. Um, and these are those dominoes from um, Dollar Tree. And again, another one of those round circles from Target. And um, I just took those, um, I, I got some stickers, okay, and I put Frosty, F-R, I'm going to make the circle O, I'm going to make it a snowman in the middle, and then S-T-Y, okay, so I put the stickers on there, and now I'm going to use all kinds of different colors to paint over that, you know, then let that dry, and then peel off the stickers. I wish the stickers had been a little bit thicker, or I wish I would have had time to use my, um, you know, my, uh, Cricut or my silhouette, but still, I really like the way this turned out. It comes out really super cute, and uh, yeah, I couldn't be any happier with it, honestly, other than the letters being a little thicker. <laughs> okay, I guess that's that's the one thing I wish I would have done was made the letters thicker. Okay, so I'm going to get it all painted up here. I love the different colors, and even though they're not traditional Christmas colors, I still um, really like the fact that it's bright, and, you know, you can totally tell it's a snowman, you can totally tell it says Frosty, so, uh, yeah, I really like it. And it's just like a little tear trace sitter, or, you know. I don't know, this one, too, I would say a couple dollars, didn't cost me much at all. Because, you know, those bags of dominoes, you get so many of them. And another one of those circles. So this cost me next to nothing. And, and I really like it. I'm definitely going to have it on my tear tray at Christmas time. Here's where I'm picking up all the, um, all the letters. Who is ready for Christmas? Like, I'm, I'm nowhere near. It's like October 5th. Um, I know with YouTube, we do it so much faster, you know, because you want to be ahead of it. But I feel like if, if I'm crafting Christmas now, I'm going to be over it, you know, by Thanksgiving. And I don't really, want, I still want to enjoy it. So I don't know. My channel might be a little different. I might, um, I don't know. I'm still debating doing some more fall. Um, I do have one more Halloween collab that I'm in, so. Okay, so I took some black paint and I put dots all around um, the dominoes and Frosty, okay? And um, now I'm just going to glue it all together. I'm going to put some Jenga blocks on the back so it'll sit up, and that's it. It's done. And we're moving on to DIY number three. Okay, again, Pinterest, and I when I looked up Farmhouse DIY... Um, they totally had so many ornaments, cute ornaments that kind of reminded me. I mean, as soon as I saw all these ornaments, I thought, okay, I get farmhouse DI or farmhouse Christmas. Um, they were just very much, um, I don't want to say primitive cause they weren't, pr some of them were, I guess, but it was very much, um, you know, like Buffalo check and ribbon and, you know, uh, ornaments with, you know, stuff on I don't know it, it it's hard to explain but but all of a sudden it just kind of clicked in my head like I knew what farmhouse Christmas was and um I've always wanted to make these Jenga block um ornaments and I just never have and I thought you know what here's my time to actually make some so I painted them all white and then I got out my stamps and I'm going to stamp um you know Santa, peace, joy. I had to go through because five letters was too much. Four was just right and three was even better. Um, and so, you know, see how three looks so much better. So after I got them, all of them um, on there, now I'm going to take and I'm going to put some ribbon on the back and glue it on there. And then I'm going to take this red ribbon that I 
a, a ribbon, this red fabric I have. And I'm going to, you know, make it like stringy and I'm going to tie it on there. And uh, yeah, it, they just come out so cute. And they look really cute on this tree that you're going to see in the end where I'm displaying all my DIYs. I'm really super happy with these. Um, and I'm actually going to put them on my Christmas tree this year. And I think I might make some for um, family and friends. And now, obviously, um, I'll probably put, like, their family names and stuff like that. But it'd be a cute little gift, you know, that they can keep forever. And um, they're absolutely darling. They really are just so stinking cute. You guys will have to tell me what you think of them. And if you like them, I really hope you do. And I mean, making these, it's unlimited. It really is unlimited. You could use, um, you know, your vinyl. You could use stamping letters. You could use stickers. There's so many ways that you could do this that, you know, it's for everybody. You could do a uh, Mod Podge, you know, reverse Mod Podge. I mean, these are unlimited, what you can do. You could use different font if you printed it off of your computer. I mean, it's just, yeah. I feel like this is definitely one that, yeah, you could just do so much with. There's like no, uh, no limit to what you can do with these. And I absolutely love them okay and that's about it for this DIY remember at the end I'm going to show them all together and uh you know you have seen okay so we've got this one and then one more after that so this is those sleds that you got. I got this actually at Dollar Tree this year. Um, this seems so much bigger than the ones from last year. And um, I was like, wow, check this out. These are so much bigger. So I painted it white. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, I painted it white. I painted it black on the legs, red on the sled. And then I was going through like, what do I want to put on it? Because I too want to make this an ornament. I got a, I got a, a thing going here for ornaments. What do you guys think? <laughs> Uh, uh, so, um, I go through all my chipboard pieces and, you know, I'm like, okay, let's just decorate it up. And literally now I just have to pick which chipboard I want on there. Do I want to put a sentiment? And I end up going with Santa and a little sentiment that I really like. And, uh, here in a minute, you're going to see, I use some of that, that snow, uh, what's it called? that snow um, mesh from Dollar Tree, and I kind of make a ribbon out of it at the very top. These chipboards, I tell you what, I'm so in love with chipboards. They're so neat. I love just what it brings to, um, like, your project. You know, it's not just for paper crafting. That's what I'm learning about paper crafting and normal crafting is that when you put them together – Oh my goodness, there's, it's just, I don't know. I think, I feel like it's really bringing my crafting together as a whole and I, and I just love it. Okay, so here's where I'm going to take that pink mesh. I'm going to make a little ribbon out of it, which I fought tooth and nail <laughs> to get that string tied around there. Oh my goodness. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> Can I just get the string on it? Oh, I finally get it though. I finally get it, you guys. It was a miracle. Okay, and then basically all I'm doing now is just, um, you know, tying them all together, getting it all on there. I'm going to take a buffalo check ribbon, and I'm going to... Uh, you know, hang, use it as my hanger to hang on my tree. And uh, yeah, that's really it. Get it all glued down. I'm really happy with how all of my projects came out considering, you know, that I wasn't really prepared, but I did not want to miss this. I missed it last month. And um, 
this, the, I feel like this um, DIY really challenges me to think outside the box. And so I, that's what I love it so much. Okay, there you go. DIY number four. Another ornament that I absolutely love is finished. As soon as I can get that little bow on there. <laughs> Okay, here's my final DIY. I have been watching on Instagram and YouTube this um, crafter. Her name is Such a DIY, S U C H A DIY. She makes, um, oh my gosh, she makes the most amazing things. But this is like um, kind of sort of what she does. She takes, you know, a lot of fabric and, and she just builds from it, you know, and creates these amazing things. You guys will have to check her out. Um, I'll put her channel and her, um, and her Instagram in my, uh, description box. Um, now I'm pretty sure that, uh, she speaks Spanish, but you know what? I mean, you don't really need someone to, to speak English because she's, she's doing tutorials on them. So you can basically learn from everything she's telling you. I think she's amazing. She's so talented. But now she uses fabric and fabric batting and cardboard. I just took a Santa, you know, from Dollar Tree. I took all of the... Um, all of the pieces off. Now I don't have, um, what's, is that, I think it's called batting that you put like on underneath fabric. So I use paper towels, <laughs> improvise people, improvise. <laughs> I hope that she wouldn't think I was horrible, but, and I'm just taking and putting, um, you know, gluing it all to the back, you know, and basically that's all I'm doing is, um, making this, um, a little bit puffy, but not too much. I wish I would have had the correct material for it because I think it would have just, um, it would have made it look the, the, as fluffier than the paper towel basically didn't make it look as fluffy as I would have liked it, but it still comes out super cute and I absolutely love it. Okay. So now I'm going to do the the headband, of course, sort of say to his hat. I'm going to do it in a black buffalo check. Again, paper towels. Now, she would have done the whole thing. She would have done, like, his beard, his face. She would have put blush on him. I mean, it's just, I'm going to keep watching her because she's amazing. And I just want to learn to create like she does because it's so, so just neat. I just love it so much. I hope you guys will go check her out. You'll be really amazed by what she does. Okay, so now I've got the, um, I guess the rim of the hat done. So I'm getting that done. I'm going to put that on there, just basically gluing it. Now, I couldn't find any white pom-poms. I know I've got like those um, snow balls from last year, but they're outside in the garage in my tub. So I took these, um, these Valentine's ones from Dollar Tree and basically, you know, just put them <laughs> in four, right? Okay, and here's where I'm just going to paint um, his beard and his nose. I'm going to put them on. After that, I'm going to get out some um, little stems from uh, Dollar Tree and some berries. And I'm going to decorate um, little Santa's hat. And that's kind of it. I really, really enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun. Um, I can't wait to continue to practice this and, you know, be able to make things out of cardboard and foam board and, oh my gosh. So, uh, yeah, she's just, 
She's really creative. You guys, make sure you go check out the link in the description box, the playlist. It is going to be stacked full of Christmas DIY inspiration. Everyone who does this collab is just so amazing. A big thanks to, again, the host, Emily and Missy. Their channels will be on my description box along with Krista's. And you guys, thank you so much. I so greatly appreciate you for watching. Here is my final reveal. Look, see, it's on like a Halloween tree. I know, like, what, what are you going to do, right? That's what I have to, to put my stuff out with. But I really enjoy, I might make more of these gingerbreads. I really like them. I might make some for my, my family as well as those little Jenga block ones. I hope you guys liked this. Please uh, let me know. Um, and don't forget to go check everyone else out. I know I'll be watching. I can't wait to see what everyone does. I do love watching Christmas DIYs, so I'm definitely ready for that. <laughs> I'm just not ready to craft it myself. How terrible is that? Um, there's my little Frosty, you guys, please. I would so appreciate a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. And thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And thank you for tuning in to 5 Under 5. 5 Under 5. I know that's my song. I'm sure Emily and Missy just want to <laughs> cringe when they hear me sing it. <laughs> oh, you guys, thank you so much. You just mean so much to me. I just cannot even tell you. All right. Have a great rest of your day. And um, thanks for watching. Happy crafting!